Hey guys, so here I'm just uploading a uh, kind of a double whammy, uh, two videos in a day. So uh, yeah. Right, so today I'm going to teach you some really really easy OLL cases, and you will uh, you'll be surprised how quickly you can learn all these cases. Most of them are literally um, just create made up of R U R prime U prime or uh, R F R prime F prime, uh, which is also known as the sledgehammer and maybe just some setup moves. So it's really simple. I highly recommend you watch this video and learn some. So let's get right into it. First two cases I'm gonna show you are in a shape of a T and it's very easy to recognize, it's just a T. Um, this one T shape has headlights on the side here so and there's no like little yellow bar here or, or whatever U face color you're using. And this is very simple, it's just F R U R prime U prime F prime, very simple. T shape has uh, does not have headlights on the side. Instead, it has these uh, this little yellow bar here. It's very easy to recognize, and you can. Uh, um, what it really is is you could think of it in two ways. One as the second part of the Y perm, if you know the Y perm, um, and then the other is simply just R U R prime U prime and then the sledgehammer. So let's take a pair out, put it back in using the sledgehammer. Very simple. So um, yeah, it's very simple. Should be really easy to sub one. Um, it's also the second part of the Y perm, as you can see, because in the Y perm, that's the second part of it. So this next case, um, I'm going to show you two algorithms for it. You should already know them, uh, or you should already kind of sort of know them. So the first one is basically a sl hedge slammer, which is the inverse of a sledgehammer, which is just a sledgehammer, but you pretend the pair is right there. So it's F, R prime, F prime, R, and that takes out a pair. And you simply insert the pair using U, R, U prime, R prime. That's the first one. The second one is basically the first part of the Y perm. So you F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R prime, F prime. And as you can see, that actually does a T perm because um, a T perm is just R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F. And then instead of doing R prime, F prime, and then doing that first case I showed you, it just cancels into it. I mean the second case, it just cancels into the first part of the Y perm. So that's an easy way to remember it. Next couple cases are going to be mostly based off of the same trigger. Um, so this one is, uh, if you know the uh, RUR prime U prime, uh, this one's very easy. It's um, You can do it two different ways. I prefer to do it this first way though. Um, basically, what you do is you do F and the inverse of the um, sexy move, R U R prime U prime twice. Uh, but first I'm just going to show you recognition. It's just a straight line, two bars on either side and headlights. So then it's F and then U R U prime R prime, U R U prime R prime, F prime. Very simple. Next one is the inverse of the last and it is you recognize it by a straight L and then a little bar, two by one bar on the side here. It's just F R U R prime U prime, R U R prime U prime, F prime. Very simple. Here's the mirror of the last case, and it is very easy to do. It's just F prime, then the mirror of the sexy move R U R prime U prime. That is L or L prime U prime L U L prime U prime L U F. Very simple. These next two cases I'm going to show you are uh, in the shape of a P, and the way you recognize it is it's a P, uh, which is basically an L with two pieces right there, then you have a 3 by one bar on the side. So this one, you put the P, so it's a regular P like that, and you put the bar on the side, and you just do F, then the inverse of the um, sexy move, so U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. This one's also pretty similar, except the P would is uh, inverted so basically you still keep the P on the right or on the left and you still keep the bar on the side except you uh, keep this 
block right here, right here. And what you do is you do wide f prime, and you do l, or you do uh, the inverse, the mirror of the sex move. So l, l prime u prime, l u, wide f prime. There you go. Next case is pretty easy to recognize. It's a C, uh, where um, basically you have one flipped edge here, and then you have a three by one bar on the side and you hold it like this and you basically take a pair out of the back here by doing r prime u and then you do a sledgehammer so like that which is um r prime f r f prime and then just simply put this the pair back like that by doing u r very simple next case looks pretty similar to the, to the other one i showed you but instead of having some bars here it um has kind of like these things facing outwards. So um, the way you do this is you hold it with this uh, thing in the front right, and you do R U two, and you basically do R prime. So R U two R prime, and then sledgehammer, and then you do R U two R prime. But notice that uh, when you do sledgehammer, you actually kind of cancel into uh, cancel into it. So you do an R two. Uh, then the rest of the hammer. So um, it's a little, it's pretty easy to memorize. So there you go. Next couple of cases are all based off of the soon and anti soon algorithms. So here's the first one. You have a um, two by one block here, and then you have bars on all the other sides. Um, so what you do is if you see a bar uh, that's like in it, like this, so you have it's offset from the two by uh, two by one, or just by the two by one. I mean, two by two. I'm um, sorry. And uh, it's offset, and it's in this orientation. You do wide r prime, uh, and then you basically just continue doing anti soon. So instead of just r u two and then whatnot, you just do wide r, and then u two r prime u prime r u prime r prime. Uh, that's how you do it. Next one is based on, based off of um, the regular soon algorithm, and you just do r, wide r, and you just continue with the soon. So simple, and you just do wide r prime to bring it back. These two algorithms are um, this one is based off of uh, the lefty soon, and then the other one, the next one I'm going to show you is based off of the lefty anti soon. So it's the exact same one as the previous except you have this uh, bar here and you have the bars there. You just do L, wide L prime and then just do, very simple. Here of the block case and you just do, if this, you just do lefty uh, anti soon. Yeah, that kind of messed that up, but I'll do that again for you. So you have the block here and this is offset and you put it on the front right spot and you just do R or wide L prime U2 L U L prime U prime wide L. There you go. So this next one is um these next two are very similar to each other. This one is called the angelfish because it's everything else is solved except these two flipped edges. What you do is you do wide R prime U R prime U prime M and then you put the pair back in. Very easy to remember. And then its inverse is um, very simple as well. You take the pair out, then you do m prime, and then put the uh, move that to the side, and then put it back in. Very simple. So I'll go over the first one again. Um, you do wide r prime, bring the block out, then bring it down, put the pair back in. Very simple cases are mirrors of each other and um, they're probably the hardest to learn out of all the algs I'm going to show you but they're still pretty easy so what you do is you take the pair out like you were going to start doing a soon so you take the pair out bring it down and then instead of doing a u2 to do a soon you do a you just bring it back um, like that instead of doing R U two R prime, you do R U R prime, and then just insert it back in with the sledgehammer. 
So it's actually very similar to um, uh, uh, yeah, sorry. 